So we have the, the door that needs painted. Need to sand it first. Um, also need to do some repair. We'll put some screws in to tighten the boards up that are loose. And replace the board that fell off of it. You can use the same nails. I'm going to use some screws and attach it with screws. I'm just using the old nails to hold it till for now. Okay. So, uh, as we work on this, there's uh, the wood is very rough. It has a lot of splinters, so we want to wear some gloves while we're uh, getting the door ready. Also, want to wear some safety glasses to protect our eyes. So now we're going to take a a drill that has a screwdriver bit on the end of it. We use it to screw screws in to hold this board in and to tighten um, down these boards that are a little loose that have gone around, uh, gotten old. So we'll go around the outside edge and put, put the screws in. Okay. So as we put the screws in, we want to select a screw that is rated for outside. This is a deck screw. Well, we'll make it long enough that it goes through this small board and through this board and into the the thick board. So the thick board is the part that gives it the strength. So we're picking one that's uh, a nice length. We want to make sure the screw head gets screwed in enough that when we sand it doesn't hurt the sandpaper. And then, so that's the size screws that we're choosing to go around the outside. So we put the screw on. Slide the little sleeve up to hold it. So we're going to use a orbital sander uh, that uses one quarter sheet of sandpaper. So we're going to take the sandpaper that we bought and we're going to rip it in and force. And the sander has a little clip on the side. You undo the clip, and then it releases the sandpaper here. And then there's the same thing on the other side. And we can throw away the old paper. We just take the new paper, put it under the clip, and then look it. Wrap the paper around. Snug. Put it under the other clip. And hook it. That's how you replace the paper. Okay, so now we have the sandpaper replaced. And we have our safety gear on, the gloves, the uh, dust mask, and safety glasses. And we're going to sand the sand it down so it's smooth and doesn't have the, the splinters. Okay, so you can see that we've started here. We've sanded it so that it's it's smooth, but you'll see that I'm not trying to get all the dark color underneath um, because we have a solid color stain. We're not really concerned about the that. We're just trying to get the main uh, smoothness down and get most of the stuff off. So we're just going to go around and try and get all the the whole surface, including all the little corners and everything. Now that we have it all sanded, all we have to do is uh, take and dust it off. We can use a broom or and that and clean up all the dust from here and then we'll be ready to paint. Now that we have it sanded, we're going to uh, lay down a plastic, a piece of plastic, plastic tarp on the ground so that if we drip any paint it doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, mess up the ground. And then, um, and it's a windy day so we're going to have to weight it down so that plastic doesn't blow away. And then after that, we'll be ready to, to start painting. Okay, so now we're ready to start painting. We're going to open the can of paint, and we're going to stir it, and make sure it's all mixed up. And then we'll pour a little bit in the pan over here so we can use the roller, and a little bit in this container so that we can use it for the brush. A little stick that we got at the paint store. Make sure it's stirred up. I'm taking that. can just wipe off the excess off the stick so it doesn't drip everywhere. Make 
make sure we clean the top up here as best we can so that when you put the lid on it doesn't stick. Now put the lid on so it doesn't the can doesn't dry out while we're painting. Use the brush to paint the edges and then we'll come back with the roller and do the big areas. Does the whole thing right? Yep, we're just gonna do the whole thing. How long would this take? This will probably probably take an hour. Okay. How many coats of paint do you think this is? Mm, we'll have to see. Hopefully one, but if it soaks in too much, we may have to do a second coat. Kind of have to wait for it to dry to see if you need a second coat. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy a quart of paint, but they only had a gallon. Yeah, this thing, oh. they don't have the small size. So that was like $23 or so. Done? All done. It's all painted. That's not it. Probably in the end of the Yeah, coat. so there's a few a few little spots. Probably need another coat, but that's it. Just really quick and it works well. Thank you for watching.